to or back to my channel. So today I'm back with another closet clean out. I'm hoping to get rid of a lot of clothes in this video. In exactly two weeks from today, I'll be moving, which is so crazy. I'll be moving to my very first apartment. So I really need to get rid of some things. I feel like I have so many things that I've just been kind of storing just because I have the space. I have a really good size walk-in closet currently at my parents' house. Now that I'm moving to apartment, I still have a walk-in closet, but it's not going to be as big as this one. I just don't want to move anything that I'm not really going to wear. I don't want to take anything with me that I don't truly need. I really want to go through and declutter. I already did a whole video cleaning and decluttering my room. I got rid of tons of makeup. Check out that video if you want to see that. Now is my closet. Now it's time for that. You guys know I love Poshmark. I always sell my clothes on Poshmark. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video is selling my clothes, listing them on Poshmark. Make sure you guys are following me on Instagram if you guys aren't already at emilygrace.26 for more moving updates and just like daily content. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Turn on the notification bell. You don't want to miss the moving vlogs. It's going to be super fun. I also have a lot of fashion content and also make sure to thumbs up this video if you'd like to see more closet cleanouts once I move into my apartment and even just like how I organize my closet in the new apartment. So definitely thumbs up for that. Let's just get into the video. Before I actually start cleaning out my closet, I just want to tell you a little bit about Poshmark because if you've been watching my channel for a while and if you've seen any of my other cleaning videos, you would know I love Poshmark. Also, if you follow me on Instagram, I always post about my new Poshmark listing. So I use Poshmark all the time. I'm constantly selling my clothes on there. I absolutely love it. You'll see in a second, I have a whole section of my closet like dedicated to my Poshmark listing. So I literally use the app all the time. I'm actually partnering with Poshmark on on this video which is amazing because I use the app daily like I honestly use it pretty much daily um, so I am so excited to be working with them on this video I'm gonna be selling everything that I'm getting rid of on Poshmark I always sell my items on Poshmark so I just wanted to tell you a little bit about it so you know how the app works battery was blinking at me the whole time and I just felt really stressed and like I couldn't focus because I thought my camera was gonna die so anyways I think I was saying I use the Poshmark all the time I'm always selling items on there when I clean up my closet and it's just a really good way to make money organize your closet I've literally been using it for years it's also a really good way to shop i've gotten some of my favorite vintage levi's on there There's some really great finds on there especially for like vintage items like i really love vintage so you guys definitely need to download the app and then you can also shop all of my listings because i'm going to be selling a ton of items like brandy melville american eagle all the brands that you see me shopping from i pretty much sell on there so i'm going to have a link below in the description if you guys want to download the app so definitely make sure to click that link so you can download it once you download the app definitely comment your closet name on poshmark so i'll check each other out poshmark is super easy to use i can't even emphasize that enough so you'll kind of see a little bit in this video like how i actually list all of my items but basically once I have an item I want to sell I just take a picture of it take a couple pictures of it and then you just go on the sell part on Poshmark and then I just you know upload those pictures and then I type out a title and like a description kind of like the brand the color all the kind of details it's once it actually sells Poshmark will email you a shipping label that you just print out and you can just put it on like a box or an envelope which actually you can just go to the post office and get the envelopes there for free so little little tip in this video i'll show you the items that i'm actually selling but definitely like i said download the app and you can check out all of my listings because there will definitely be more than what i can show you in this video i usually have a lot of listings on there so definitely download the app through the link in my description so i think that's everything i wanted to let you know about poshmark it really is the easiest way to get organized and sell your clothes it's so easy and you can make money my closet name is emily grace 266 so follow me and let's just go ahead and get started with the closet clean out and one other thing i forgot to mention is that i'm probably going to do this over the course of the next few days probably won't get it all done today because it's actually pretty late in the day the other thing i wanted to tell you just as a quick disclaimer my closet is actually like my closets are pretty good size and it's a jam-packed full of clothes so i just wanted to say that being on youtube i work with you know i work with a lot of different brands i know like you're some people are going to comment saying like nobody needs that much clothes it's so ridiculous and it is kind of ridiculous but that's why i do like to go through my closet often and sell things on poshmark so other people can enjoy what I'm not using, but I do try to be mindful of what I purchase. Let's go ahead and start the closet clean out. I'll show you guys my closet starting out. Okay, so here is what my closet looks like. If you guys haven't seen any of my other videos, it looks like this. I do have a whole closet tour on my channel if you guys want to check it out. Back in my closet, I have these little cubby shelves with pretty much all of my jeans. I have a lot of my crew neck sweatshirts with like t-shirts at the top. 
I know this looks like a mess, but this is kind of my Poshmark thing. I have all this like built-in shelving, so I use this for all of my current Poshmark listings. And then over here I have jackets and dresses. Here I have scarves. This is a lot of like tanks and t-shirts and this is all of my Poshmark shipping stuff. Definitely have my work cut out, but I'm not gonna try to really clean my closet. Like I guess it is a closet clean out, but I'm not gonna try to like there was one video I did, I guess it was probably the last closet cleanup that you guys saw. Um, I really wanted to make my closet look super clean and nice and organized, but since I'm moving in two weeks, I really don't care what it looks like. I'm probably gonna end up packing stuff actually. Main priority is just getting rid of as many things as possible so I have less to move. I'm back. I kind of started the closet clean out last night, but it was kind of late, so I kind of started it, but never really checked back in. So it's the next day. Today I'm going to clean out my closet. I'm gonna try to do it all today and get it completely done today, because tomorrow I'm actually kind of going out of town. I have a whole list of different aspects of my closet that I want to clean. I'm gonna try to just kind of check those things off as we go. I'm gonna try to be a little more picky with what I'm getting rid of. I actually have a few more things kind of like opposite season stuff that I'm storing that I also need to go through. I've got some outerwear. Here's what I've got so far. I would say this is a pretty good pile of stuff to get rid of. Like it's a lot of stuff. So that's just like my hanging clothes. Now I need to go through like my jeans. I really hate doing the jeans. I kind of mentioned this in my apartment shopping vlog. I think that's gonna go up after this video so you guys will see it then. But right now I have like that thing where it's like eight cubes and it's gonna go from like eight cubes to four cubes. But then I'm gonna put like a little half dresser in there. Um, it's gonna be like the same style as these ones from Ikea but like little small dresser, the three drawer mall. I think I'm gonna try to fit that in there with like a little four cube. If it goes the way I want in my head, I'll have a little dresser and then the four cubes. But right now I have eight cubes to put my jeans in. Really six because of the two things on the bottom. Gotta get rid of like two cubes of jeans. So I need to really kind of be picky with the jeans that I'm choosing to keep, but I also don't wanna get rid of things that I like just to, you know, just because. I need to go through my jeans, shorts, like I kinda wanna go through my dresser, and then I'm gonna go through my sweaters, coats, accessories. We got lots to do, let's go. I have it organized by style, but these ones at the top are the ones I reach for probably most often, are actually like the same as almost like the ones I'm wearing now. So I wear these a lot. This stuff I could almost pack up and just leave myself like two or three jeans until I move. So this is definitely the type of thing I could go ahead and start packing. Love them. Definitely keeping. These I could almost get rid of. If you guys watch my videos often, you would know I hardly ever wear distressed jeans, but I feel like it is good to have just like one pair of really distressed jeans. Okay, this angle is better. Now you can actually see me. These ones I like, they're very comfortable. They're knit material, so they literally feel like leggings. I also feel like I'm really into like traditional denim now. So with these being like a knit material, they just feel kind of like almost unstructured because I wear a lot of traditional denim. This is like an in-between. They're like jeans, but they're stretchy, but these are like very like stretchy and soft. I just don't wear these as much. These are Topshop straight jeans. These are really cute. Probably actually one of my favorite styles of jean. They're really cute. They're beta black mom jean from American Eagle. Love them. Should just get rid of these. There are these super distressed black mom jeans. I've had them for years. When I got them, they were kind of big. Then I didn't wear them because they were too big. Now they are too, like tight. And I feel like they've just never really fit me right. They've either been too big or too small. I don't really like jeans that are super distressed anyway. These are Topshop Jamie jeans. You guys, if you watch any of my denim videos, you know I love these. actually much later now. I actually went and filmed a thrift shop with me and haul video. I went and put on this sweater vest. I actually found this in my basement. I went down to my basement because I've been meaning to look down there for sweater. I've been really into the sweater vest trend. So we had some sweater vests somewhere in my basement. So I went down there to go look through some of my opposite season clothes. And while I was down there I thought I'd look for the sweater vest. So I found this. And then I've been wanting to do a thrift video. So then I went and filmed a thrift video. I went thrift shopping. And um, yeah, here I am hours later. I've literally went thrift shopping, bought a ton of sweater vests, 
and that video is coming so look out for that in a couple days um i really love the sweater vest and i'm kind of obsessed with the trend I might be actually selling some on my poshmark because when i went thrifting i went a little overboard i got like way too many sweater vests and I thought my sister might want some but when I facetimed her she didn't seem like she did I'm obsessed with them but I probably don't need like a million of them like realistically so if you guys are as interested in sweater vests as I am comment down below and I might list some of the ones that I don't probably need on my Poshmark because genuinely you can't buy them anywhere and all the ones I got are super cute just like this one like they fit really oversized I kind of backtracked on the closet clean out okay so I found this sweater I'm gonna try it on I've Got it from Brandy Melville like when I was in high school and it's been a while since I've worn it. Oh my gosh, it matches my nails. So I'm just gonna try it on. I feel like I don't really wear it much anymore. I have this yellow skirt. I feel like I only wore it one time. It's from Topshop. I really loved it when I got it, but you guys know how I feel about neutral colors. I love neutral colors. I don't really wear a lot of like actual colors. Like I always go for neutrals. So I feel like this is just a little bright and just not something I would wear. These sweatpants are nice. They're kind of lightweight. Um, but I have so many sweatpants like I literally can't even fit them in my drawer I have all these jeans I think I'm gonna try them on these are really nice they're just like these little pink the brand bike shorts and again like when I got them I really liked them I didn't have like any biker bike shorts but I feel like I have so many nice like athletic material ones I don't really wear the cotton ones much this I did not wear one time this summer so I feel like if I didn't wear it this summer I probably won't wear it next summer when I have even newer pieces although it is really cute and I honestly don't even know if I wore it. I think the tag, I went to go wear it so I took the tag off and then I didn't end up wearing it. I literally remember buying this. I remember wearing it to work. I literally remember wearing that. Like this has sentimental value. I think I might have worked my first manager shifts at American Eagle in this possibly. These little baby tees are too tight and cropped and they just honestly it looks like I'm wearing a baby's tee. They don't fit me. Like honestly like I try to make them work. All of these things obviously I really loved at one point. They're all things that are just kind of sitting in there and I'm not currently wearing. I would rather somebody else enjoy it rather than me hang on to it and it just sit there and collect dust. Can you help me make decisions? I can't do it. So I basically went through, tried on all the denim. I did actually decide to sell a lot of it. I'm gonna FaceTime my sister and see if she wants any of this before I list it on Poshmark. I go through everything and this is all the stuff I'm selling other than any of the items that my sister wants to keep. It's actually quite a few items, like all of these tops, coat, and then all these bottoms. Once I FaceTime my sister, then I just need to go through and actually list all of these on Poshmark. A little update, I just FaceTime my sister and she wants all the Princess Polly jeans, a lot of the denim shorts, and a lot of the like newer tops. So I'm gonna be taking those down to her this weekend. And then whatever she doesn't end up wanting, I'll take back and list on Poshmark. So I think that's probably it for today, but I will talk to you guys tomorrow and just finish up the closet clean out and the Poshmark listings. So I will just talk to you guys then. So it's the next day. I just got a notification from Poshmark that one of my items sold. It's not one of the items I just listed. It's something that's been on there for a little while. It says, congrats, your off the shoulder express romper has sold. So I just wanted to show you guys really quickly how I pack up my Poshmark order since I'm doing it right now. I basically just took the romper and wrapped it around in tissue paper. If you guys have received a Poshmark order from me, you kind of have seen it before but I just wrap it in tissue paper stick it in here write one of these little thank yous so I just made these on pick monkey just made them on pick monkey so it looks like that and then I just print them off and like cut them out write the person's name so like Lauren thank you so much for your purchase I hope you enjoy this express romper thanks Emily like something along those lines I will put it inside of the package once I wrap up the item with tissue paper I just seal it right here let's get this email and then it literally just has a shipping label that you print off but it's basically just like this shipping label all you have to do is print it from your email and then obviously package everything and then you just tape this on here so it's super easy you can see the little thank you note right here I just go to the post office and they have stacks of these little envelopes that you can just pick up for free if you don't want to go to the post office you can actually go on the post office's website and order them there for free it is literally as easy as it can be and you make some money off of your clothes that you're not using anymore 
gonna list all those items on Poshmark that I found yesterday to get rid of. I like to do my Poshmark listings in the morning or in the middle of the day whenever there's bright natural lighting. I want um, my followers on Poshmark to be able to see what the items actually look like and see the details and everything like that. So natural lighting is gonna allow better pictures for your Poshmark listings. I usually like to take them just like on my bed. So I'll just lay lay them out on my bed because I have a nice like blank canvas. It's also a place in my room where there is good lighting. So that's what I like to do. Some people take them like hanging up which looks really nice as well. So it just kind of depends what setup you have and what looks good. It also helps if you take pictures of you wearing the clothes. I usually have like so many listings that it would just take so long if I actually tried everything on. So I usually don't but if somebody comments and asks me to try it on then I will. Anyway so I'm gonna list all those on Poshmark. Not the bag, because the bag's my bag. But I have all of these items right here. So it is quite a few. For Poshmark tip, I try to take pictures of similar items together. So like all the t-shirts I'll take pictures of like one after another. All the sweaters I'll take pictures of one after another. So that way when I list them, I can just like list all the sweaters together. List all the t-shirts together. And they are, when they're listed on my Poshmark, they're all kind of grouped together. Which is just nice when you're scrolling through my Poshmark for everything to be organized. Now everything's kind of organized. I've got all the like kind of long sleeves, jackets, sweaters, t-shirts, tank tops, and then all my bottoms. Oh, and another tip is when you're taking the pictures, make sure your camera is on like the square orientation. So when you take the picture you and you're listing it, it's not like you don't have something cropped out that you wanted to include. Okay guys, so the Poshmark listings are pretty much done. I took all of the pictures. I just need to go into the app and actually add the pictures and type up the descriptions, which is really the easy part. Really, the only thing left for me to do is like, actually physically clean my closet and just make it look a little bit nicer. We'll pretty much be done with this closet clean out. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it so far and hopefully it has inspired you to kind of clean out your closet. This is my Poshmark station. It's usually very folded really nicely and very clean. These are the items I just listed. So I'm gonna take some time to just kind of organize this and make it look nice and clean. I actually need to list these these items on the top or some things I need to list. Okay, look how much better that looks. It actually only took me about 10 minutes and it's so much more organized. So here's kind of like the end result of my closet. So I know it doesn't look like a huge difference, but I did get rid of a lot of clothes and I already listed them on Poshmark. I'm gonna be packing up my closet soon, so maybe while I do that, I'll find more stuff to get rid of. I feel like this was a really successful closet clean out. I also organized my Poshmark section. So thumbs up if you'd like to see more closet clean outs on my channel. I'll definitely do more once I move into my new apartment. Definitely download the Poshmark app through the link in my description so you can start your own closet and also check out all of my Poshmark listings. Comment your closet names below so we can all check out each other's closets. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed. Follow me on Instagram at emilygrace.26. I'm going to be doing a moving vlog here very soon. So if you enjoyed this closet clean out, you'll probably enjoy those as well. Make sure to turn on the notification bell. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.